Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I am going to discuss today uh, the parts of a Bunsen flame which are important when it comes to so many different components like studying S block, studying flame test and this was also a part of J mains 2016 uh, question. They had asked which is the hottest part of the flame and since then asking one or two questions from the practical syllabus has uh, become a norm. So just discussing the parts of a flame in detail, this is the Bunsen flame. This is, I'll just share the parts quickly with you. This is the valve which controls the inflow of the gas which is used as a fuel here, which is burning, which is mostly methane. This is the hole by which we are going to control the oxygen flow. So air and oxygen are going to undergo combustion oxygen and the gas are going to undergo combustion and we get this part as the flame now just see carefully if this this hole is wide open it lets in more oxygen through it it lets in more oxygen through it and you see a more clearer blue flame now if i start rotating this valve upwards to close the I am rotating it upwards to close the valve that means less of oxygen you can see the flame is becoming yellower it is on the yellow side this shows less of oxygen so the flame has become yellow incomplete burning of the gas and again I move the screw downwards in order to allow greater inflow of oxygen and see the flame turn back to blue right now what are the main zones this is with uh, excess oxygen allowed to uh, allowed to pass through this uh, hole so two main regions you can observe in this flame this is the blue part this is the blue part this part is the blue part and this is another violet blue color so the hottest part is this one the hottest part is where you can see the glass rod it's between this blue and the top blue this part is the hottest part and actually the innermost part this one this blue part i'll share a diagram also for this uh, this innermost part is called the preheating zone right and then we have this part just at the tip of this blue part as the primary combustion zone this is the part where actual combustion occurs and this part you can see is the hottest part of the zone and then uh, between this tip and this part is the uh, internal zone and here the top part is basically a secondary reaction zone so why is the outermost part um, uh, basically non-luminous part the outermost part is non-luminous because it has excess of oxygen uh, even from the air and this is uh, allowing complete combustion and this in innermost part since this is where the gas initially undergoes combustion with as the mixture of a, a gas methane and oxygen comes here so this part is the hottest part just remember between this blue part and this outermost blue part this part is the hottest part of the flame just remember what is the difference between a luminous and a non-luminous flame luminous means luminosity so whenever there is unburnt carbon or excess of carbon in the fuel or unburnt carbon or not enough oxygen like you can see in this case I have closed the nozzle so that we don't have enough oxygen the unburnt carbon tends to glow glow with red heat and hence appears yellow so yellow flame luminous flame luminosity means color the luminous or the yellow flame corresponds to unburnt carbon so if we compare the fuels say uh, alkynes alkenes and alkanes alkynes have a high percentage of carbon c2h2 more percentage of carbon than hydrogen in comparison to ethane ethane c2h6 more hydrogen for the same carbons so ethane burns with a non-luminous flame whereas ethane burns with a luminous flame which we also call as a sooty flame so what is the meaning of sooty flame Sooty flame means which has unburnt carbon which is a yellow flame and which leaves a black mark on the uh, substance that is being heated. Why? Because it has unburnt carbon. That unburnt carbon sticks to the vessel and leaves a black stain. So that is a sooty flame shown by uh, fuels which have excess unburnt carbon.
so either carbon percentage is high or oxygen available is less so i'll illustrate what is the difference between heating something uh, with uh, this black flame this yellow flame so you can see this is a yellow flame uh, with very less amount of oxygen allowed to make it undergo combustion i have this clean glass tube and i'm going to heat it here so as i heat this glass tube just see what is the fate of this after heating so just observe it has become black so what is this this is a sooty flame this has turned the glass black and now i change the flame and i again heat i change the flame i am making the opening larger allowing more oxygen through it and now you can see it's a clean flame and let us heat the test tube again i take a test tube and now heat again in this flame so just see does it become black now and why do you see these streaks these streaks are due to some kind of impurity some salt some kind of impurity which is present on the glass walls which is giving color to the flame so see carefully this is clean and now if i make you compare the two tubes the blacker one has been heated in a luminous flame and the other one in a non luminous flame so i hope you understand so what is the application to everyday life uh, whenever you are cooking something uh, on your gas and your gas burner is clogged it's not completely open and uh, clean what happens it starts leaving that black mark soot on the utensils uh, which whatever is heated on that flame so that means your gas is going waste uh, but the burning process is not complete so it's time to clean the burner hope you like it uh, please share and subscribe